Oh, I should have pulled up my phone so I could check. Hi, everybody. We are hoping we are live. We see people in the chat waiting on us. I can't find my own channel to check. <laughs> Neither one of you guys have it. Oh, yes, we're there. We look so nice. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Two Texans and a Little Tacky sale. We call it the, the Triple T sale. We have it every third Thursday of the month, and we will be rotating channels. So next month, we'll be on Daniel's channel. Yep. So let's see who's here so far. Maria's been waiting a long time, and it's really hot. It's 107 in her place. That's Hi, hot. Maria. And we have Sarah Lee Coleman and Belinda Carroll. Hello, Belinda. Hi, How are you feeling? Hi, BBB. Oh, uh, Miss Blind by Beauty, thank you for coming. We were just sitting here chatting before we went live, arguing over who has to go first and <laughs> whose channel's next. And <laughs> Hello, Roxana Sellers. Junk in her trunk. Diana Kay. Good to see hello, you. Hello, hello. Triple T, that's us. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I did not realize that we're triple T. <laughs> Two Texans and a little tacky. We even got Daniel saying y'all. So, so make sure you're watching Daniel's videos so you can catch him saying y'all. <laughs> I call myself out on it all the time. <laughs> oh, call Don't do that. Just embrace it, Daniel. Be like, y'all, why am I saying y'all? <laughs> Well, it's kind of tacky, so you should say y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joanne Johnston. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's see. Eight people. Hello, hello. Who are we missing? I know we have another sale going on. Patrick is doing his sale. We, um, My usual time is at 9 o'clock, so, and Patrick usually finishes about that time, so we're kind of cutting into his time a little bit, but... You guys can split screen and see us both at the same time. Linda Punky, thank you very much for coming. So what have you guys been up to? Mm. Well, I did a sale yesterday. I'm doing a sale tonight and I'm doing our late sale and chat tomorrow. So you're busy girl. And Daniel, you have something tomorrow too, don't you? Oh my, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. I've worked today and I'm very tired. So I'm going to be spacing out. So excuse me. And also, I'm drinking pop and I don't usually do that. So if I burp in the middle of everything, excuse me. <laughs> but tomorrow, yes, I will be going live at my normal time at nine um, for a little tacky chat on Friday. I actually have. Uh, a twin mail unboxing that came from across the pond. Ooh. I and can't imagine. Who have my sale too. What? I said I can't imagine who you know across the pond. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Tony Butterfly Nurse Thrift is here and she is sweating, she says. <laughs> it's hot out there. It is hot in Texas today. Sylvia Calloway. Thank you for coming. Shelly Huerta, thank you. New England thrifter in the house, hello. I won't call you by your other name because you're trying to change your identity. I get it, I get it. <laughs> That's Helen, in case anybody doesn't know. Yeah, Helen Booty. <laughs> See, Tammy's just gotta say it, Helen. I don't know what it took, it took me a while to remember that though. <laughs> Vintage and Vino, Tim and Jerry. I'm assuming it's a Jerry. We've got a big hey y'all coming in. Claudia Patterson, thank you for stopping by tonight. Yep, see, Helen Booty. <laughs> oh goodness, I've had a strange day. I told my friends that I would tell them about it later after we have our sale, so I'm gonna wait. So if you wanna hear this, the strange goings on that, um, <laughs> made my day kind of weird <laughs> not to mention the fact that at 7 30 i go oh my gosh we're doing this sale at eight and not nine my usual time and i was running around like a mad woman so 
Daniel, Claudia's got a message for you. Do you see it? Daniel, I got my box today. The green glass arrives safely as usual. Yes. Yay. It always scares me when I send stuff out. I mean, I I pack yeah. you pack it. I package it as well as I think I can, but it still scares me when I send it out. <laughs> I, I'm with you. It does always and I, I worry about the postal office just getting it there sometimes too. But I've I've had packages uh, they sent pictures to me of their packages where it looks like they literally played kick football with it and and nothing be broke but still the package was really damaged but I have had a couple of broken pa um, items before early on now I just pack the crap out of it Tammy I think they call that soccer kick <laughs> football <laughs> No, I was I was thinking, you know, how you drop kick to kick it over the goalie. Oh, you know? okay. Okay. I did like they see drop kick it like a football or soccer. I did see a video of a FedEx man just throwing it over the uh -huh. mm -hmm. I explained to my son how they throw things into the big cargo, the big box trucks to get them in the back and then go in and stack them because it you can't just go back and forth with one box. So let's see. Hello, Chris. Kluwer, I hope that's how you say your name because I hate it when someone calls me O'Brain. So I hope I pronounce it. Right. I actually, we, because she won uh, my giveaway. Mm -hmm. I think her last name, correct me, Chris, but I think it's pronounced Cleaver. Cleaver? Like a V? I'm pretty sure. Is that right, Chris? How interesting and memorable. Hi, if Chris. I'm, if I'm right, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty's here. Hi, okay. Kitty Cat. Hi, Vino. Chris, you give us a phonetic pronunciation of your last name, please, so we will know. And on that note, we'll get started and let's see if I can remember how to work. Put the boxes it. down below, below. See the little boxes? Pick I don't one. want to remove them. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. No, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. I should have practiced this again. Uh oh. If you go to my individual picture down below, yeah. click on the. There, there you go. go. There you go. Thank you, Daniel. You're my hero. Okay. Chris said yes, that was right. It's Cleaver. Okay. Okay. Thank I'll you, never Chris. forget again. Well, you know, I, I remembered something. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. You did good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So uh, I'm going to get the rules we all ship separately i am in illinois they are in texas so um and i need your information sent to me at tech using at yahoo.com your name your youtube name your shipping information and your um, paypal email address if you please and then with all my items tonight they're all going to be tacky toss-ups so i'm just going to show you an item give you the number we're going to start out with and if only one person does the number that's who will get it otherwise we'll do it like a offer up so there there's my spiel okay so let's get started first thing we're going to start with is the little ballerina bunny cute look at her if i got down like that we'd be done <laughs> um there is no marking on it it does have an old price sticker, and I'm not for sure what that is. It's probably just a regular store. Hold on. Let me get my little light out. JJ something. I think it's JJ Newberry Company is what it has on the bottom. So we are going to start the little bunny out at eight dollars. So if anybody is interested in the little bunny, ballerina bunny, she is eight dollars. And it is a tack and toss up. So we're doing an offer up on this. So starting out at eight dollars for the little pink bunny. If anybody is interested, go ahead and type in eight dollars. Otherwise, we'll be moving along. $8 for the bunny. 
He doing the splits? Huh? He doing the splits? She is. <laughs> she's got her ballerinas on and she's like, ta-da. <laughs> Daniel, Chris says she's sending you a package on Monday. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. All right, nobody's interested, so let's move on to the next one. There you go, Hi. Hi, y'all. There's some new people in the chat that I'm not familiar with. Nice to meet y'all. My next, my item, my first item, I said I was going to say next, is this, what is this, 50s, I mean 60s or 70s beaded purse, really cool beaded purse, and it has little danglies, Woo. I mean, it's, does it say who it's made by? Made. What's bag? I can hardly read that. It's dark over here because it's light blinding me. So the bag itself is a nine by seven and a half, nine inches, but with a strap, it is 21 and a half inches. It's a like a crochet kind of strap. I think it's really cute. Is that pink? Pink. Does it not? Does it look a different color? Yeah, I just want to make sure that my I'm picking it up and reading it the right way. Pink with a darker pink bead. Yes. Real cute. I don't know if anybody had had any of these when they were little. They were really cute. Always wanted one. <laughs> right. So thirteen dollars, and it's number seven. I will be doing some offer ups like Daniel though. Thirteen dollars, number seven. Daniel, I want to thank you for giving everybody our um, our little spill on on, the, <laughs> on sending in their email. I forgot. I told you I was having an off day, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> All right, my first item is a hobbyist piece. It is a kitty cat. It is a multi um, glaze cat. So it's brown and red and blue and white. It, it's really sweet. It's got a nice tail. Um, it was signed by someone named Quinn. I really liked Quinn's take on this cat, the way she or he used a multi-glaze on it. And this little multi-glaze cat is... Eight dollars, number twenty-eight. If you'd like the ceramic cat for your collection, eight dollars, number twenty-eight, for the multi-glaze cat. I'm back. Okay, so my next uh, tacky toss-up is these wonderful little, I guess, wine goblets or. Um, Oh, y'all, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, that's, those are so pretty. Um, cordial. That's what I've been trying to do. Cordials. So they have the little um, etch. I don't know if they're etch. They think they're, um, uh, you know, transfers. Uh -huh. uh, transfers of grapes on them. And then you have the green with the spun round thing. So. For the wine goblets and stuff, we're going to start these out at $8 for the pair. $8 for the little cordial wine, whatever else you would drink out of these. A little aperitif before dinner? I guess. I don't not know. an appetite? I don't <laughs> drink, so I don't know. And they're not big enough for my tea. <laughs> so $8, if you're interested in these, we'll start them out at $8. If anybody is interested, you go ahead and put that in the comment. We'll start them out at $8. If not, we will move right along to the next one then. Okay. I have up is this vintage um, tablecloth. It's square, rectangle. I mean, I'm the square, square, square. It has these 
kitchen utensils on it, the teapots, coffee cups. It's green, pink, and blue. That's lovely. Biscuit jars. Yeah, see it from there? So it has a center. So you can see the center here. That's what the center looks like. And then it's this all the way around. Now it does have a little spot right here. There might be a, one or two of these, but um, I haven't tried treating it, so it may may come out. But it's real light. Claudia, we almost never find round tablecloths. They're very rare. Yeah, they are. I did have one. I did sell it. It was a that um, that real thick um, material. Really cool. So this rectangle tablecloth is going to be twelve dollars and number fourteen. I love these colors. So it's the green, pink, blues. And what size did you say it was, Tammy? It's a square. Your regular that regular square, like a card table, They're like a sixty size. or something, right? Yeah. I think is i may be wrong like for a card table size okay so twelve dollars number 14. thank you all righty then my next item to offer to you tonight is an unmarked exotic bird he's ceramic he's in lovely colors and i say he because the males are usually more beautiful than the females beautiful yellow and green with a little white and brown mixed in he's in great condition his beak may have the slightest bit of roughness to it but there's actually no real paint loss to it that i can see of course let me let me let me get my other eye out here yeah, he's got a little bit of a rough nose, but it's nothing really noticeable. He is four and a half inches tall, glazed all over on his little branch, and he's eight dollars, number twenty-three. Eight dollars, number twenty-three, for the little ceramic bird sitting on a branch. Back to Daniel. To me, don't you love how I like do that every time? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's since you showed me where it was at. This is actually easier, so yeah. All right, so I have these set of four dessert berry bowls, and I just thought they have the loveliest pink. They just remind me of the '50s pink, <laughs> like the Eisenhower pink on them. I don't How much know. is it going to be, Daniel, since it's going to be an offer up? They are starting out at $8 for the at four. $8, okay. $8 for the four. So if you're interested in those, you can type in $8 and we'll start there. It is an, uh, a tacky toss up. So they have the wonderful pink on them and they are really, really cute. I just love those. You could use them for berry, you could use them for custard. I love that base on them. I know they, they. I like the little footed ba um, base. Little footed base. Lord, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through or not, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I am tired. So these are eight dollars for the set of four wonderful little berry bowls with the wonderful little pink flowers and leaves. So if anybody's interested, type in eight. If not, we will move on to the next person. Christina is here, Tammy. Hi, Christina. We're, I'm doing a sale tomorrow with Christina, and we have a special guest tomorrow on my channel at 10 o'clock Central Time. <laughs> we have a special guest. It will be very interesting with this, with this guest. So next I have up is this brown hand painted flower frog 
it's pretty cool. I haven't seen one like this. I mean, I guess there's other things you can do with it. I mean, this is a pen size. Hose your pens, but there's a little bit of smaller hose as well. Or you can use it like I'm doing in my window sills. This is a little bit too wide for me to use. But I'm going to start this up at um, $14. If you're interested, I'm starting it at $14. So, at Texas Throwdown, if you say. Or you can get it at $14 if you're the only bidder. But um, it's it's a little different. It's, it is four inches round. And it stands about an inch and a half tall and four inches all the way around. That is so nice if you collect flower frogs to have something so different. Yeah, very. But it's too wide for my windowsill to use. So it's really neat. It's different. So if nobody's interested, then we'll bring it back later. Okay, Martha. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I have a pair of vintage ceramic egg cups. They're in a really pretty, I don't think you would actually call that a teal, somewhere between a teal and a mint. It's that vintage green color from the 50s that goes with all the kitchens. Lovely shape. If you don't do eggs, you know what we do with them. But you know what? I think they'd be beautiful. And I don't have any out right now to show you. With bottle brushes in them at Christmas, I think they would make a great bottle brush base. But these two ceramic egg cups, vintage egg cups, are $6, number 19. Hi, Picasso Cat. Hi, Beth from Driving Fly Attic. Thank you for coming. And hi, Christina. <laughs> $6, number 19, if you're interested in the ceramic egg cups. Just let me know. I, I see Maria, California Thrifter. Thank you, Maria. All right. I have, I'm still trying to figure this out. An unusual piece. I have this wonderful ashtray. I believe it is. I'm not for sure. It's a leaf. It's a flower. It's a pipe. It does have um, gold gilding on it. And um, I'm not exactly for sure why there's a pipe in there. But the funny thing is it has a hole there and it has a hole there. So I'm not for sure why. There is a marking on the back, but I can't make it out. I think part of the marking is missing. And obviously, you're not going to see it in my sucky camera, but there's that. There are no. Well, I would think stuff. it's probably a pipe ashtray. That's what I figured. Um, but I like the coloring on it and stuff. So we're going to start this out at ten dollars. Ten dollars for the um, pipe ashtray with the pipe in it and the beautiful coloring. And so we'll start this out at $10 as a tacky toss up. If anybody is interested in it, you can put $10 in the chat. I just think it's an unusual piece. It is. I love that shape. I like that it has the gold gilding around it. That pipe is fancy. It's a fancy pipe. So $10 starting up on the ashtray. Okay, if nobody's interested, we'll move on to the next person. Thank you, Daniel. Let's say hello to Chrissy's Corner for Collectors. I missed her in the chat. I'm sorry about that. Hello, Chrissy. Hello. Hi, you guys. Um, okay, next I have up is this. It's a vintage press, uh, newspaper press plate. Um, it's it's kind of thin. It's metal but it has some details on it. It, I think this would be really cool for men's, um, men, men's man caves or on the bar. You know, I have some more of these, a few different styles, but I think these are really cool. He's holding his hat and I think he's, uh, 
I thought that was flowers. This is a back scene of some trees and a guy to a couple other guys in the background. But uh, this is what the magazines or the newspapers would use for advertisement. But look at the detail on here. But this would be cool, if it, even in a shadow box or something. His his legs disappeared, you know. <laughs> he's only supposed to show. Maybe he's advertising his suit, you know, is what it was. But pretty cool piece. I just I just think these are really go well on a in a man's decor or something. And it's going to be sixteen dollars, and it is number ten. And he's about 13 inches tall, a little bit taller than a ruler. I turn it sideways because my screen is longer this way than it is this way. <laughs> it's bigger than you got screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Okay. And a reminder in my best Katie voice to be in live chat, not top chat and refresh often. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh. Fairy lamp. I have a fairy lamp. This one looks like a, a fairy lamps that we've seen, but it's got something different about it, and I'll show you. Let's see, let me make it a little bit brighter. It's very candly looking. Let's see, there we go. It is um, frost, satin, frosted, however you want to call it, with the cabbage rose. There you go. Cabbage rose graphics on it all the way around and it has the um, like the oyster button bottom good shape take my little light puck out of it bottom looks good now this one unlike the other ones I have seen actually has a marking on the bottom and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I know that you believe me, you can probably see where it is right there. It says Taiwan. And it's the first time I've ever seen one that actually has a mark on the bottom like that. So very exciting to see that, them owning up to what it is and where it's from. So it is vintage because it's Taiwan. Be a great addition to your fairy lamp collection. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, I did. I enjoy making them. Hello, Gail. Thank you for joining. So if you're interested in this fairy lamp, it's going to be $18, number 30. $18, number 30 for the frosted satin glass fairy lamp. $18, number 30. And we'll go back to Daniel. Thank you. All right. Let's do some ephemera. I, sorry, this book cracks me up. I have this bright eye book with a googly eye kitty cat on it. And we're going to start this at $12. This is from 1941. Um, there is a little bit of condition parts. This is ripped here. It does have some staining on it, as you can see up here. And his little eye is actually taped. So evidently the Google eye fell out at one point in time. But we're starting this out at twelve dollars. But oh, look, look at, at the graphics. The colors. I know. And the Google eye goes through the whole book. Some kid really liked that book and it, I don't it blame is, you. It is written in on um, the front page says Terry Frederick Parker, sixth birthday from mommy and daddy. Aww. That's really cool. Is that right there? And then the 1941, you're not going to be able to see it on my camera, but it's right there. And then, so we're doing $12 for this as an offer, as a tacky toss up. I guess I should pull it back so you it. can see. I love it with that eye. That's so I much know. Fun. The Google eye is just, it cracks me up. So oh, it's $12 for the 1941 Bright Eye book. <laughs> Look at those. They're so cute. <laughs> and the style of clothes they're wearing, too. It's great. I see Blind by Beauty is coming in at 30. Mr. Owl. She yeah. needs it. She's serious. She is 
what do they say? Bid it like you mean it. Bid like you mean it. And she means it. Look at the lamb. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. That's darling. Jibble that eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 30 for the high bid. Oh, I love this. Look at the guy. As Beth would say, that's darling. <laughs> darling. I always say cute, 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 cute. Beth says darling. It's darling cute, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then the squirrel is the last one on the page. The pictures are amazing. I mean, the, the bright color. I know they, for being from 1941. I mean, 41. Yeah. Despite the writing in it and some of the little bit of issues in it, it is so uh -huh. in such good shape. So we okay, have Daniel, we we have a clarification. The 30 is number 30 for the um, fairy land. Okay. Oh, that was a big jump. <laughs> so it looks like nobody is interested in the book for starting at 12, and we'll move on. All righty. Let's move on to Miss Tammy. Thank you, Brittany, for letting us know. Okay. I'm going to start this out at $8, starting out at $8. A vintage magazine. McCall. I forgot to look at the year on this. It's a uh, 46 October of 1946. This McCall magazine. Oh my goodness. Now it, it might be a good for, um, it's still intact. The co the cover is just loose right here. The outer. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all still intact. Just a little bit loose on the very top there and the very bottom. But, it is a 13 and a half inch magazine. It's the larger magazine. They always had such big, great magazines back then, didn't they? Yes. And look, what was this? More Dr. Smoke <laughs> Camel. <laughs> Can you believe that? Dr. Smoke Camels. That's a strong cigarette there. I just love the graphics in, uh, in these, the, the, um, the, uh, the illustrations. The yeah, the illustrations. That's it. And look, there's even a jello mode. A oh my P, gosh. P with peas. Yum. Yum. Oh, I know that one. That's the one with the lobster and the peas. Yeah, yum. That one. Who's going to eat that? Who's going to make that and, and, and share it with us? There's some other cool ones there. Sounds like a, peas uh, and lobsters. Something for Katie. <laughs> Can you only imagine how they stuck those peas together? Mm -hmm. I'm really glad the kids. And they're not rolling away. Let's see. Let's see what I have here. Oh, and it, it it taught you how to use a dryer. You learn in the magazines how to use your appliances. <laughs> That's just some of the little cool, little cool stuff in here. But starting at eight dollars, if anybody's interested. And if not, we'll just move on. It's a big one. It's, you can tell how big it is. But isn't she cute? Just just her alone blowing a bubble. I used to have those pipes and blow bubbles. Oh, really? <laughs> I always pretended I was a Popeye. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beth, for reminding everybody to give us a nice thumbs up. We appreciate that. All righty. This is something different. I've never picked up something like this before. So I hope you'll like it. I haven't seen a bunch of these kinds of things. This is a Tilson, Tilson Tilso, that's what it is, Tilso, that's the maker, Japan, and it is a pig teapot. Now, his lid is missing, so I stuck a little plant inside of him. All different kinds would look cute. He still retains his great wire handle. And his cold paint is in very good condition. The other ones I've seen had, you know, the eyes were worn and the, the tie was gone. But his is good all the way around. The wire handle's in in good shape. He's just in, in good shape all the way around. I was very pleased with this. And I know that you can collect... Um, creamers that go with it as well. Maybe, I don't know about sugars, 
but cr you can find a creamer that matches this as well. Um, it's pretty old. It retains some of its former label on the bottom. You can just make out the T and the I. You know, if I had a good camera, I've got to get me a, a, an external camera for my laptop that will work better. But his spout is good. See, no damage on it. No little bumps. And this is not a chip. This is the paint on his ears on both sides. You can see it. He is, that's not him. This is him. <laughs> he is number 27 and he is $12. $12, number 27 for the Tilso Japan Pig Teapot. Thank you. And we will go to Daniel. All right. In honor of my Texas sidekicks here, we're going to do a yellow rose in Texas. So this is going to start out at $15 for this beautiful framed yellow rose painting. And it was done in 95, February of 95. And there's the artist's signature. And there's the back. Daniel, so, that's lovely. I love it. It is really, really pretty. I love yellow anyways. But I think they did an excellent job. If only I could paint like that. So we're starting this out at $15 as a tacky toss-up. $15, that's a, that's a steal. Now, let me measure it for you while you're all are thinking about writing $15 in the chat. And where you're going to put it <laughs> and how lovely it would look. It is 11 inches wide by 13 inches long. So, 11 inches wide, 13 inches long. Yellow Rose of Texas. $15 starting bid. Makes me want to break out in song. Yeah. Butterfly that nurse, I'm, I'm glad you can remember your <laughs> Texas history lesson. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> well, that was back in junior high. That's in that song that I'm thinking about, too. <laughs> yep, it talk, says, talks it's about it. Yep. All right, so nobody looks like they're interested, and we'll move on to the next person. There you go, Tam Tam. That's my sister in the chat calling me Tam Tam. Nancy, uh, your sister? Uh, no, uh, Lee, uh, Jim Wrencherman. She's, oh, under, she's Jim. under her husband's name because she don't have a name. <laughs> well, if I ever meet her in person, I'm going to call her Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nancy Smith. Thank you. I appreciate the, com the compliment on my nails. Thank you. <laughs> I have a Tanala snail. Ain't he cute? Looks like a snake there. They're pretty designs on him. He is, let's see, where is he marked? Yeah, he's marked right there. And he is six and a half inches long. And what is he? Three inches tall. He's pretty cool. My first snail I found. But he is going to be, and I don't know if we have any Tanala collectors in here. Hi, Sabrina. I see Sabrina just showed up. Hey. That's really neat, Tammy. You don't see that very often. I'm yeah, I had a plate oh, last night once i had a plate last night that i hadn't seen um but i still have it but i like that i like how it goes there different designs so you get to pick your design he is 24 dollars, and he is number six for the tanala snail he's big he's pretty big i love this color. hi annette Annette says hi. <laughs> hi, Annette. And Tony, you know, I was going to say, I think there's only maybe one or two other states besides Texas that requires a uh, state history course. 
mm. for school. So, woohoo! <laughs> I always thought all states should do it. Why didn't they? You know, why didn't they teach about their state? It would seem like it would be important. You know, state. Well, practice. Texas had a lot going on. I'm, I'm sure other states did too, though. But around the borders, but. Yeah, I'm sure everybody had their their things happening that they should, you know, focus on. Every state's got a lot of does have a lot of history. It wouldn't be there without a lot of history. So, okay. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading text on my phone. Uh, on my phone. <laughs> she's out. Oh, uh, she's out watering and sweating, girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this is a good time to be doing it here. Mark, the mosquitoes are going to eat you alive. <laughs> Hi, Annette. Okay. So I bought this beautiful, beautiful bowl. Okay. The color of blue on this bowl just, it's like, okay. <laughs> it plays so well with green. And I, oh, I just thought this bowl is so beautiful. So I got it and I, I checked all the edges, you know, and oh, everything felt good. And so I was so excited. So I bought it and I don't know who made it. Let me show it to you. And then we'll discuss the deal about it. Isn't, isn't that, it just is, isn't it? <laughs> look at that. Look at those ruffles with that white milk. Yeah. Glass. That's it blue, might, right? not green yes it's blue. yes okay. it's blue it is such a pretty powdery blue okay it, it reminds me of a um a girl's petticoat a crinoline petticoat it's just so gorgeous and i fell in love with it had no markings on it you know it's got its little belly button pontal here so after i bought it i discovered it had something if you look right here, can you see these little crimp marks? Whatever they use to crimp the ruffles, they reached too far and they made little indentions in it. And I didn't even notice it when I bought it. Can you guys see it? It's really hard. It goes from about here to here. So a good ways around the bowl. There you go. You can see it right there a little bit. It's just, it's whatever they use to reach in there on this hot glass and crimp and make the ruffles. Got a little foot on it. And I don't know if it is a Fenton brand or if it's some other brand. I just, I do not know. I could not find anything exactly like it. But because it has these little indentions on it, I'm going to give it to you for a really good price. I think, I hope you'll think so. It's going to be $12, number 22, for the beautiful milk glass and blue ruffle bowl. And it measures 11 and three quarter inches across. So it's almost 12 inches across. It's just a beautiful bowl. So if anybody's interested for $12, number 22, just let me know. Wow. That was factory though, right? The uh, yes. indentions in it? Yeah. I'm sure yes, it's it, it's, it is. It's a factory. It's a factory flaw from where they made it. And so. Belinda Carroll's picking that up. Thank you, Belinda. I appreciate that. And I'll wrap it very carefully for you. As you do everything. <laughs> As I do everything. Oh, I don't know. If I have to send something to Daniel, I don't know. I might just do it. <laughs> Whatever, I can make something out of all the shards. Okay. <laughs> you know, lemon lemonade, glass, right. <laughs> tabletop, I don't know. <laughs> all right, so I have this kitty cat. Look at the eyes staring into you. We're going to start this kitty cat out at $10. She is a beauty. And it's quite a hefty piece. There's no marking on the bottom, but it is a really well-made piece. It is quite heavy. That's why I believe this is American-made, just from the weight of it. Look at that. Just 
lounging the day away. $10 for the kitty cat. That is starting offer of $10. We're doing a tacky toss up for this. Look at Wonderful. that bow. <laughs> Look at her little pink ears. Starting at $10. We're starting out at $10 if anybody is interested in the kitty cat. That would make a great gift to. It would be a great paperweight. Yeah, <laughs> it would. You know, it's not so big that you can just set it on your desk where you're working and have it do that sort of thing. Let's let's be professional here, and I'll measure it for you. Awesome. But, you know, we're all about being professional. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right there. <laughs> it is uh, six and a half inches long and about mm, three inches wide. So, starting bid at ten dollars. Darling, it can be yours, or we can move on to the next person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have this acrylic blanket still in the bag. It's a blue flowery blanket. I didn't want to take it out of the bag because it's in the bag. It does have a hole right there in the or right here. So you can see the bright colors still. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Does that to... have the satiny edge along the edge? Yes. Top it? <gasps> oh, yes. Tammy. Mm. <laughs> I love those. I remember having a pink one like it. Those are so fabulous. Yeah, I've been tempted to keep it. This this size is a, a 72 by 90. Would that a, is that like a twin? 72 by 90? I'm not sure. Seems more like a, a standard size. Like a twin? Is that no, what I said? Like I, said? A, I like the old full size beds, a standard oh, size. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what the number, I mean, without laying out a ruler to see how big it is. And I didn't want to open it, but yeah, yeah. they have the satin. I'm going to start this out at $28. Are you oh serious? my gosh. Mm, that color. But. I didn't want to open it because I was surprised to find it in the bag still. Yeah. So, and it's that acrylic. I find it weird that they call these acrylic, you know, because I, I, I imagine acrylic being that hard stuff, you know, like the hot. No, it's stuff. soft. 72 by 90. 72 by 90. 72 is what? Oh, it says it's a full twin or full size is what it says. There you go. So it, it would overflow on a twin and fit on a full. But you know, you could use it anywhere. And oh, it would be beautiful laying across the end of your bed. Yes. But it's, yeah, it's, it's soft. Never been used, obviously. New old stock. <laughs> Nancy, that would work on your day bed because, you know, it being a twin, you could tuck it into the back and then let it cascade over the front. Well, if this don't sell, it's going on Etsy for a lot more because I've seen them for a lot more, especially still in the bag. Heck, I've seen them very expensive out of the bag, and I thought, hmm, okay. Well, my son has a day bed. That's what he sleeps on, a twin-size day bed. So. But $28, and nobody is interested. We will move on. All righty, then. Okay, I don't, oh, hi, Chicago lady. Hello, Jeannie. Hi. I don't know if any of y'all follow Beth, uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. If you don't, you should on YouTube and Instagram. She just got through doing a great collaboration where we all, um, oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. What did we do for the collaboration? The $10, $10 or Thank less. You. <laughs> for $10 or less, we had to thrift things, so. Go to Beth's channel and check that out. Check out the playlist and all the wonderful people that participated because they're all your friends. You know all of them. But where I was leading with this long story was that on Instagram this morning, she posted. She was at the beach. She's on vacation in the Carolinas. And so she's at the beach and she's taking a picture of her feet in the water. Mm -hmm. Just killing, <laughs> right. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Right. But made me think of vacationing. And so I picked this out in honor of Beth. 
It is a sweet salt and pepper shaker set, and it is luggage. Um, maybe the man's and then a carry-on. I don't know, but they are vintage Japan. So saith the bottom, and they are in great shape. So look, here's Beth with the palm trees, and, and here's Mac. You know, Mac's carrying the valise, going to the hotel. <laughs> So it comes out there and there. These sweet vacationing Beth luggage is $10 number 29. $10 number 29 for the vacation luggage salt and pepper set from Japan. Thank you very much. And we'll go back to Daniel. Oh, right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have a piece of ephemera. We have February 1942, Women's Day magazine. She is in angst. She wants a boyfriend. She's looking at the lovebirds. Why can't I have that? So there's the front of it. And then the back is donuts. Yum. <laughs> I know. Although I don't really like cake mm. donuts. I'm not big on cake donuts. I like the yeast donuts. But look at the um, china they're using. I it just makes looking, you feel good. I love looking at these vintage things. Okay, so inside we have a cake. And that's what you look like after you eat the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's an angry baby or an angry baby. <laughs> that's a stomach ache from eating all that cake. Yes, Nancy, in just a little while. We're starting out at $10 on this. And there is Royal Crown Cola. So this is a toss-up, a tacky toss-up. So we'll start out at $10 for the 1942 magazine. And no, Nancy, I don't have any brooches. I am so sorry. <laughs> Not on this sale, I don't. I want to find, dang it, you know how you want to find something and then you can't when you're doing it, but anyways, the illustrations in these are wonderful. Uh, There's a mystery. That picture tells a story. That looks <laughs> like something Katie should be reading during mm -hmm. her I agree. books. You can, they show you how to refinish stuff in 1942. There was an ad for washing machine that I was fascinated with. Oh, and here is the fashions. This is starting out at ten dollars. Oh, look at the shoulder pads. Fashions. I know in those hats. Oh man. We dressed so much better back then. <laughs> and you can have the hairdo to go with it. It tells you exactly how to do those pin curls. Victory rolls. <laughs> So $10 for the 1942 magazine, starting out at $10. Ooh, there's some desserts for you. Mm, yummy. So if anybody's interested, $10, there's Ritz crackers for you. This has some absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Um, there's Peter Pan. Peanut butter, look at that. And some flaco pie crust. So, looks like nobody's interested in the 1942 Women's Day, so we will move on to the next person. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, next I have up is this bow. Great for your M&Ms. It is a, what is this? And then write it down. Six and a half inches wide, and it and it is like two, uh, almost three inches deep. Great for M and M's. Sit on your side table in your living room. So while you're watching your movie or the sports games, you chomp on things. So it's a clear glass with this yellow inlay. Of um. Mm, I never did find the design on this. I, I mean, the name of this particular glass. If Katie was here, she'd probably be able to tell us. 
There are so many pa um, yeah. patterns of, of EAP jigging, man. It has the little, little, little foot footies, but little stars, and I'm not even saying. My son uh, said that looked like a marijuana leaf. <laughs> okay, and that's a star, and but it's really cute. It's great for your little candies to sit out. Your well, you, should be, you should be proud of your son because that's the wrong number of leaves. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> Good thing. And, I'm surprised Martha does know. Okay, she's from, she's a 70s, 60s child, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be $12, and it's number one. Pretty little bow. It is pretty. Skittles, yes, yeah, Skittles will work too. I've seen pictures, Tammy. I've seen pictures. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I have my um, Texas Throwdown Offer Up Tacky Toss Up, whatever you want to call it. I have mine for the night. Mine is a handmade or hand painted Deruda Italian pitcher. Um, it's going to start out at sixteen dollars. It is eight by six and as you can see it makes a great base and it is glazed fully on the inside so you can use it as a pitcher if you so choose it has all this beautiful beautiful blue green painting on it of leaves and flowers with yellow bands and some green hashes here and these are red you can see it's made in Italy it's a lovely rooster so if anybody is interested in this I'm starting it as I said at $16 fully glazed inside and out beautiful green striping it's a lovely picture. I'll give you a second to let it catch up. And if nobody's interested, then we will move on to Mr. Daniel. All right. Well, we'll just stay in the pottery theme. I have this wonderful Mexico vase. It is not tonala but it does have the area in which it was made on on the bottom and we're starting this out at twelve dollars for the vase uh, it has some wonderful fruit paintings on it so starting out at twelve dollars for the mexico vase with the wonderful hand painted fruits on it i see bananas and watermelon and pears and oranges and apples. That's very bright. It, it looks is. like it's three-dimensional. Is it not? Is it no, flat? It, it is flat. It is wow. three-dimensional, but they did a very good job on it. Pineapples. I'm not for sure what that is. I don't know if that's supposed to be an avocado or not. But Green apples, pears, could be. Who knows? I don't know. They did a wonderful job on it, though. And once again, it is Mexico. And there's the area in which it is. Talavera. So there's the inside. And it is seven and a half inches tall. And we start this out at $12. Tacky toss up. First thing of $12. $12 for the Mexico base with the hand painted fruits on it. Okay, looks like nobody's interested. We'll move on. Hi, you guys. I see LJ just popped in, Angela, Mayberry. Hi, I'm glad y'all could join us. We'll go back through another round for those who just joined us. 
after because we're on. I don't know. We got a few more left. I have. These are from Italy. If that's what it's that. Been an Italian like. and and Mexican night, hasn't it? We've been right? international. Can, yeah. Can you read this? No, no, because it's written in Italy. I don't know. <laughs> I think one of them it looked more clearer. Maybe Hold it says Italy, Italia or something. It says Italy and then numbers. Yeah. Okay, so I have these coffee mugs. Really cool colors, fun, funky colors. The lime green with the blue, blue handles really cool really cute i like the design of them they're different look cute really cute on your tree mug if you had one there's a set of four is this is some no i was gonna say some of them painted different no they're the same <laughs> yeah they're the same okay a set of four italian mugs with some numbers on them i don't know but they're really cute i like the if you like this boho 60s light color where's my paper they are going to be for the four of them 18 dollars number 12. 18 dollars number 12. well hello christy i'm glad you could join us hi It's like school's out and everybody's come to play. <laughs> come to play. Come to play. I see Haleem and Angela are here. Melody's mini miscellaneous. Let's see. Christy Tippy Wings. Book Bewitched. Nettie. Jay from Dallas City Vintage. Hey, baby. Haven't hey, seen you Jay. in a while. Long while. We've got old stuff Beth here and mid century wasted Jamie. Hello, Just LJ. Take this moment to say, hey, if you're not subscribed to us, please subscribe to all three of us because I see some new faces in here. Pam, hi, Pam. I've been moving my mouth while you talk. There you go. <laughs> Michelle, Emancipation 300. So apparent, and apparently we have um, Patrick to thank. He sent everybody over. We appreciate that very much. I know Patrick was having a great sale tonight. Pam Avery, hello. Oh, and I'm going to mention we talked about Beth's collaboration. Sarah Lee Coleman mentioned that her she posted hers on Instagram, so there will probably be an Instagram playlist. I don't know. Does that work like that? I don't know. But check out on Instagram <laughs> and see because you get to see some good thrifting. Beth likes her likes your banner behind you. It's her kind of colors. Thank hello, you. Hello, Val. I left it long. A lot of people trim them, and I could trim it, but I like no, it. No, it looks good there. I know. I like it long. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ruthie. How are you? Okay. So my next item for the evening is a Relpo planter. This little girl, dressed in pink with a black, um, what do you call it, girdle? Is that what they used to call those? I can't remember. Um. The difference in her in a lot of them that I see is she still has her actual lace apron that she was made with. Many of them are missing when you find them. And the only other one I've seen of this one, it was missing. So on the back, she's kind of like a bloomer girl in that the back of her skirt is up and you can see all of her ruffles. But she's got a lot of room for a lot of plants. And take them out for you and let you see her back with her blue bow and her blonde hair. Little puff sleeve. She is a sweetie. Painted very well. And there is her, oops, that way, Relpo mark right there. It's a fancy R with a loop around it. Made in Japan. She's in really good shape. She is $14, number 18, for the Relpo Girl Planter in yellow, which you do not see very often, especially with 
The lace. That's really cute. I like that. I think she's sweet, cute, and darling. All in one. All in one. <laughs> that lace just does it. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> you are too, Daniel. Well, okay. You're cute, darling. And what was the other one? Sweet. 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 Oh, you're so That's sweet. That's the one that throws it out the window. <laughs> Goddess, thank you, Dara. I think that's Dara Stone. If Dara, if that's not how you say your name, please let me know phonetically in the chat. All right. Hello to all my friends who are popping in. Welcome. So we are going to do a tacky toss up on this cute little Uranian dish. Woo. Yeah. Okay. You can tell by the color that it glows because we all know. Daniel, did say, you get a glow light? I've got it, but I was getting ready to say, <laughs> trying to show it on camera is not, it just doesn't work. On you have camera. to have a huge one. That's why I'm not doing uranium. Um, but it does glow. Take my word for it. I would not lie to you. Even though it looks purple on here. No matter how I try, I cannot get it to you show. You have to turn out your other lights in order for it to show good. Yeah, well, yeah. I can't because they're way right. far away from me. Right. So, yeah, it glows. It really does. So we're starting this out at $15. It still has some of the cold paint on it. There was some gold, I believe, around the edge, but it is pretty much gone because this was used. There's no chips on this, but there is some, like, calcium or something. I don't know if they had water in this. I do need to clean this, so I will try to get it cleaned up. I'm going to be very careful, though, and with the top because of the cold thing. You don't want to wipe that off. So it has, like, a, a rib optic type of thing, and it does stair step down. So, I see Claudia at 15, and Ruthie has come in at 18. This is just darling. I love it. I think that is the cutest little covered dish. And I wish I could show you how it glows. <laughs> I think I, Daniel, I think I actually have the candlesticks that match that. They look like that base and they glow, glow like crazy. They're it beautiful. is. That's what's sad is I can't show it because but it really does. It really I know it's like a slime green. It's so bright. <laughs> Well, and you can kind of tell just by looking at it that it's mm -hmm. going to glow. I mean, whoa! <laughs> Good save! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gave me a heart attack, people. Turn away now! Oh, I need a rest. <laughs> whoa! Okay. <laughs> oh, Ruthie oh. says she will take that for 22. Sorry, oh. Sabrina. So we're at 22. Is anybody interested in going <laughs> higher than 22? I mean, come on, I caught it. Simon, Simon says, Sabrina um, says 24, please. This and Jamie real. says, you got her heart too. <laughs> of course I have your heart, Jamie, because you love me. No, you, <laughs> you almost killed her. <laughs> Beth oh, likes her expression. So if 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 you are not going, if you do not want to go above twenty four, please let us know that you're out so that Daniel's arms don't you know fall off. <laughs> well, I'm going to start a countdown of ten, so we'll go from there. And Martha, after I'm I ready, count to ten, she's going to put in stop, and whoever's highest bid is above that is what we'll go with. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we will wait for stop. It's coming. There it is. Okay. Oh, Ruthie, you just missed it. So Let's we see. had Sabrina at 24 then. Yes, we have Sabrina at 24. Ruthie was just behind the stop. Just behind it. All right. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, everybody, for playing along. We appreciate it. Sorry for the fun. little heart stopping. <laughs> he had that plan. He did that on purpose. It was that's, choreographed. Yeah, I am that <laughs> choreographed. Today. There you go. Those eyes. That's what they were talking about. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on to Miss Tammy. 
Okay, next I have up is this kitty cat door draft stopper. It is 34 inches long. And at the highest point with the ears, it is six inches tall. Any cat lovers out there? It's really cute. It's from um, 83, 1983. I was going to use it for my door, but the door I was using it for, it, 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 it was like half the size. So, and it does have, you know, it's from 83. So it does have a little like, um moisture damage you know damage right there i don't it's very light but this at the bottom of it has uh beads in it to help weight it and stay you know stay in place but look at those kitty cats they're so cute this would be very cute on your door a it's line of cats big. it's really big it's really long so I don't know. I, always, I even thought it would look really cute on the bed as a pillow, you know, because it's, you know, it's pillowy. So this is going to be $18 and it's number nine. $18 for the door draft or decorative back pillow door. for your couch or the top of your couch. Oh, yeah. On the back of your couch would look cute. Yeah. I see Melinda Hess has picked that up, number nine. Thank you, Melinda. Alrighty then. This piece I found a long time ago. When I first started doing videos, you might have seen it then. It is an old kitchen piece, and I mean really old. It is a double spoon wrist with yellow tulips and green leaf details. If you look, look at the crazing on this. Look how old this is. Judging by the crazing and the wear from being used on the flower stems, the soft colors, I'm thinking it was probably in the 30s or 40s. Now, I don't know who made it. It didn't have anything on it, and I haven't been able to find one. However, if you think about it, because I have one, and I don't have it unpacked or I would show you. It matches the McCoy planter with the yellow tulips and the green leaves. So I thought there could be a possibility of it being a McCoy spoon rest because it matches them. And it's pretty big. It is nine inches by five and a half inches. Really soft yellow. I mean, I can close my eyes now and see it sitting on one of those old vintage stoves with the soft yellow cabinets. You know, it would be pretty in Tammy's with the green cabinets that she has. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is $8, number 24, for the very old vintage ceramic double spoon rest. $8, number 24. Thank you very much. All right. I see I'm doing it again. What is it with these eyeballs? We have uh, Sabrina for number 24. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay. So let's go with some more glass so I can give Jamie a heart attack. <laughs> I have this beautiful yellow bonbon dish. No, it does not blow. I tested it every which way from Sunday and it does not glow. <laughs> but, and I'm not for sure who the maker is. For some reason, I'm thinking Lancaster just because of the shape of the edges. But I'm not for sure who it is. But this is beautiful yellow bowl. And we're going to start this out at $12 for the yellow bonbon dish because you need bonbons in your life. You could put those um, buttermints in this would be cute. Oh, it's lovely. I love the yellow glass. You, I, I, I love the really, yellow depression glass. I don't see a whole lot of it around here, so I was amazed when I found this. So starting at $12 for the yellow bonbon dish, we're doing a tacky toss-up. 
I see Chad Retro Days says he'll go in for twelve dollars. Chad wants some bonbons. I want some bonbons. <laughs> well, you, you know, you just don't see many dishes with that little um, sawtooth edge on the corners there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're usually just square or rounded, and that's a little extra detail. And once again, like I said, I don't know who made it, but for some reason I'm thinking Lancaster because they kind of did stuff like that. But it could be, you know, very many different glass companies. There so, is. And what's, what matters is, does it blend with your other pieces? More than so, uh, We have chat at 12. If anybody else is interested, you can put in higher than 12. Otherwise, we're going to start counting this down. Ruthie, I don't know what you're talking about. Ruthie's wanting M&M's. That's, that's oh. what's happened. She's having a healthy <laughs> craving. <laughs> Sorry, I seen QI and I'm like, I don't know what she means. <laughs> that's what happens when you don't have enough M&M's. M&M's would be excellent in this. Yes, it would. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start counting this down then. We have chat at 12. We're going to count down from 10 and then Martha will put in the stop. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and waiting for stop. And there's the stop. So Chad. Wow, that's quick. Stop. That stop came in quick. I know. I don't know what's up with that. Usually it takes a while. I know. Well, thank you for doing that quick stop. And Chad got it for $12. So thank you, Chad. Awesome. Quick stop. <laughs> okay. I have this, this lady vase. I don't know if it's a vase or a mug because there's a handle on it. But it's, what is it, Martha? Is it a vase or a mug? Um, I've always seen them as vases. I think it's a vase. It's a Susan Paley, right? Yes. Uh huh. Susan Paley. Uh, and what's her name? Every one of them have a name. Does it? Let's see. Is there a paper over there? No, it just says Susan Paley by Gans. By Gans. Gans. Oh, Ruthie no. says mug. Maybe that's why it's different. Doesn't have a name. Is it glazed on the inside? Yep. Okay. Ruthie wins mug. <laughs> Ruthie what? <laughs> Ruthie wins. She says mug. We'll go with mug. So, yeah, I can't feel the very, very bottom, but all the way down as far as I can feel is glaze. It is like uh, seven inches tall, but I, I think I would end up using her as a vase. Her little handle, leopard handle. But I've been seeing a lot of these lately. I know, it, it, but that happens. Things come out in groups, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Well, she is going to be, she has no name. We, we can name her what we want. She's going to be $9, and she is number four. We're naming her Ruthie? Yeah, well, she, she can be Ruthie. <laughs> so $9 is number four. Okay, and Ruthie is picking up the Ruthie Susan Payton. <laughs> Thank you, Ruthie. It was it was meant to be. It was fake. Kismet. <laughs> All right. I have googly eye owls. And I tell you, their little eyes move. Ceramic salt and pepper shakers in tones of gold and brown. Feather details on the sides and the front. Their ears are brown. They have stoppers. I do not know how old they are. They could be old and didn't get used a bunch, or they could be newer. I, I simply don't know. But they do have nice plastic stoppers. There's nothing in them. <laughs> that was great because that was over my laptop, so I'm glad there was nothing in them. And they do have, like I said, googly eyes. Well, see, their little eyes. Go wherever you want to. They're very cute, very sweet. They are three inches and they are $8 number 16. 
eight dollars number 16 for the hooters as christina says with googly eyes <laughs> nice hooters <laughs> christina always says that <laughs> all right so i don't have any hooters so we'll go poodle i've got this little black poodle it is um atlas japan hand painted it is three and a half inches we're going to start this little black poodle out at eight dollars and there is the sticker on the bottom it does have a little chippy whippy on its nose if you can see it right there so there is that little chip on the nose and there's a few little spots back here but it is a Adorable, look at that. You don't see too many black poodles. So this That's is starting sweet. out at $8 for a tacky toss-up. Just cute, and it does have gold gilding on it. Look at that. Woo! That poodle is dressed to the nines. I know. She even has a little bow on top. She's had her hair done, you know, with the color and stuff. And that's right. She got it did. <laughs> so it is starting out at $8 for the little poodle, little black poodle. Oh, she'll look cute on a, you know, one of those little shelves with all the little knickknacks and tchotchkes. And... Somebody needs it for their poodle collection. Yeah. All right. So $8 if anybody's interested. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next person. All right, let's go see Tammy. Hello, Yvonne. I see Yvonne just showed up. Hi, Yvonne. So next, I'm doing this lot of linens. 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 There's different sizes. Now, they're not all pristine. We're going to start this out as a throwdown texas throwdown and it's going to be starting at twelve dollars there is like 20 pieces here maybe 21 but like 20. i'm going to show you real quick they're not all perfect like this one has a little nick right there there is just and the fabric might have a little spot on some of them but there are just a variety of different pieces and this is going to be a throwdown starting at twelve dollars for this whole lot now if you oh those are pretty if you didn't i mean i think you can even make things with these you know using them as your um your what is it called the the valance across the top of your yes yes because there's so many of the pretty pieces i mean of oh, embroidery i love here. that one so, you know, like I said, they're not all perfect. There might be something, a little something wrong with, you know, not that they can't be cleaned or fixed or whatever, but there's like, I know a good 20 pieces here. We're Some of those would look so pretty if you took them and you uh, attach them to a bedspread because yeah. they have the little lace edges, you can stitch them down under it and then have the lace lay over it. Oh, and it would look so pretty. You could dress up a plain white bedspread. And some are long. These last few are long. Uh, even making pillows, using the bottom halves for pillows. Yes, ma'am. You know, I have so many projects as it is. But almost done here. That one has a oh, a peacock. Oh, my gosh, a peacock. Tammy. But, you know, like I said, there might be a little something, something with them, like there's a spot on it or something. So I just had a ton of them. And I just, I thought, I'm going to put this set in a lot. Girl, if nobody wants those, we got to talk. Okay. I think they make great pillows. I've been yes, that's just what even I'm thinking, what such beautiful pillows they will make. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah, but see, like this one, this one has, a, like, little little nicks in it little butterfly i mean a butterfly moth and nicks or something but doesn't matter it goes with the territory it shows their age and look sarah lee says that you can make little purses with them too oh purses 
So oh, Shirley's in at 12. <laughs> and that was all of them. There was like, there's like 20 pieces here. Certainly, so, you know, mail me that peacock now. <laughs> <laughs> there, I mean, there's endless possibilities here, and they're all different pieces? sizes. Good grief. Yeah, it's the bundle. I had quite a few of them. I just didn't want to sell them individually, and I thought I'd do a lot on them. So, Sarah Lee might be getting a good deal here. So, are y'all ready to do a countdown? Anybody else interested? We'll start doing a countdown starting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. And if you will put stop. There you go. Then, Sarah Lee, you got a good deal here because there is just all kinds of possibilities with that one. Thank you, Sarah Lee. Thank you, guys. And thank you to Book and uh, Christina who are just throwing me the compliments, not making me feel so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just feeling so good here, so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Oh yes, okay. Elephant, I have my, my weekly elephant. I always try to have an elephant in my sale. This elephant is made in Italy. It is a very intricately carved elephant right from this beautiful base all the way up to, I can never remember what that is called. I know this is a cauda where they ride. You can see all the, look at the faces in there, how detailed that is. And even the top with the shingles, <laughs> the tiles is what they would be. They would be tiles. People looking out the back and this side. I mean, even the columns and all the, it's just so intricately carved. And you know what? I can't tell you what it's made of. It, it feels like it's some sort of stone, but I can't, I can't hundred percent say that because I haven't found another one like it. There is the base, the little made in Italy sticker. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It feels smooth, you know, like time will do. And this elephant is $16, number 20. Italian elephant, intricately hand carved, $16, number 20. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to do hashtag bring back clear glass. <laughs> I have this wonderful clear glass basket. Isn't that a beauty? Oh, look at that. I love the square part of it. I'm not for sure who made it. So once again, yeah. But I love the square optic in that. I guess you would call it optic. I'm not for sure. Yeah. It makes it look like the weaving of a basket. It is so pretty. We're going to start this at $12 for the clear glass basket. This would be cute uh, Easter with the grass in it and the little eggs in there. Oh, yeah. It would be great for Christmas with the red bulbs in there and some little fairy lights at the bottom. This would be great with ice cream in it. <laughs> Every container to me always is ice cream. Well, you know, there are people that collect the uh, marble eggs and things like that and the amethyst eggs, you know, the stone eggs mm -hmm. and the semi-precious ones. It would look lovely in there. There's just so many things you could put in this. And I love the clear glass. And 
with the square, like you said, to make it look like a basket. It is really pretty. So twelve dollars is what we're starting this out at as a tacky toss up. If anybody is interested in it, here's the bottom. And it does have like um, the little mark where they put the glass together with the handle. I see Ruthie is in at 12. So if anybody is interested in this, we're going higher than 12. If you're interested in this wonderful clear glass basket that can be filled with M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Or various other things. So uh, I like the your uh, Christmas with the little fairy lights and the colored. I also like Jamie's idea. It needs to be filled with the vintage glass candies. That would be really cute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, or the uranium marbles, Nancy says that would glow so many things so we have twelve dollars is anybody else interested in this and then we're to cashews <laughs> cheese will be next goldfish <laughs> the little cracker goldfish <laughs> my grandkids would love those okay so we're going to go ahead and start counting this down so if you're wanting this beautiful glass basket Higher than 12 by the uh, end of count 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And can we have a stop? And there we go. There's our stop. So Ruthie Bronchima, Bronchima, Bronch. I don't know Bronchima. how to say so it's going to go to you for $12. Thank you very much, Ruthie. Congrats, Ruthie. Hello, Tammy. Oh. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm looking at it's the chat. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do this brooch, and I'm going to start this off at $25. How big Ooh, is it? It's time for the brooch. We need to bring back the brooch, y'all. It's an inch and a half around, and it has the, um, let's get it focused, there we go. It has a square in the center. Well, they're all squares, aren't they? More rectangle yeah. in the yeah. center, and then squares all the way around. Like a snowflake, or? Uh, like a uh, cyclone, kind of. Yeah. All right, you were okay. focused, and now you don't want to be focused. Move, move your fingers back out. There you go. Now come forward slowly. Oh, that didn't work. Cuss at it. Cuss at it. Cuss at it. <laughs> well, that's why I put it on this paper because it usually works when it's on a paper. Let's see now. What does Patrick on Kim's husband do? He, there you go. Don't move. You got it. That's it. <laughs> Okay, I'm freezing. The a pinwheel, yeah. <laughs> but it's a very lovely brooch. It's very pretty. Starburst, yeah, there you go. So Fireworks. many great things. Mm -hmm. Snow flurry. <laughs> Snow flurry, yeah. But it's full of, the, I don't know if it's crystals or rhinestones. There was no make or model on it, so... But I like make and model, man. It's like you're buying a car. Right? <laughs> Everything has a make and model on it. <laughs> so, I can't hold my shoulders up any longer. Uh, so, if, But if nobody's interested in the brooch, then we can move on. Very pretty. And it focused back on me. I was going to show how big it was. Oh, back on you, coming up. There you no, go. I'm trying to get the camera to focus back. You can't even see it, can you? So you get an idea of the, the how scale. big it is. The scale, there you go. Okay, back on you. Put it up by your eye. My eye. See, it's look how much bigger than her eye it is. There you go. 
that, that's that's better. <laughs> now, how much was it? Angelic Vintage Treasures would like to know how much. Twenty-five, starting at twenty-five. Get my raggedy ends out of the picture. <laughs> They're always getting in the way. Okay. All I'm right. To you. If someone decides they're interested, just give us a holler and we'll flip back over there. Okay, my next little item for you tonight is it's let's see who's made by UCGC, which is the United China and Glass Company. It's like the little um, I don't know, Nesco and all the other companies make the little angels and the birthdays. And this is a June angel. Great for a June birthday or a wedding or June graduation. She's in great condition. All of her little flower petals are on her just as they should be. Her little hands holding them. Wings are in great condition. There is her making model, as Tammy says, <laughs> right there. So for this little June girl, and she is she is a bisque girl. She's not a slimy, slimy, a shiny glaze. She is a bisque girl. She is ten dollars, number seventeen. Ten dollars, number seventeen, for the June angel with the pale pink dress. And the looks like a lotus to me. Ten dollars. And we'll go to Daniel. All right. So I'll do a little girl too. I have this wonderful little um, anarcho girl planter. And she is wearing her best and looking to heaven, wondering why she's with such a tacky man. So she has her little bowl, her little purple bow, and there's the planter part. She does have one little ding in her hair, if you can see that. And I think a little bit is going on her purple hue. But otherwise, she is in good condition. We're starting her out at $10. $10 for the anarcho planter. And it does have another sticker on there for Shirley's Flowers and Gifts from New Berlin, Illinois. So she was used as a flower planter. Isn't she pretty? I love that. And let's see how tall she is. So we're starting her out at $10 for the Anarcho Girl Planter and she is about eight inches tall. So starting out at $10 for a tacky toss up for the Anarcho Planter. And it looks like nobody's interested, so we will move on to the next person. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay, next I have up is some uh, rock glasses. These are, there's a set of four. These remind me of um, Mad Men. That's what I was trying to think of. It's the old-fashioned rock glasses. And if you forget how to make it, here it is. It's a whiskey sour glasses. It has the gold and uh, red design on, on the glasses. There's your whiskey sour. So there's two or three recipes on here. Really cool glasses. They're three and a half, almost three and a half inches tall. And if y'all watch Mad Men, there were, um, I got paper towels in between them so they're not clinging up against each other. But the set of four all the same with the cute little designs you have your on the rocks you need a jigger i guess for your cues over oh so that's just an explanation and then you have your two uh recipes the whiskey sour and the old-fashioned that's what don used to drink all the time and his underage very underage daughter knew how to make them for him and for the set of four, it is $18 and they're number 11. Hi, Dean. I see Dean just came in. $18, number 11. 
Okay, thank you, Angelic Vintage Treasures, for picking up the little June lady. And I see that Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels has joined us, as has Dean Oliver. Thank y'all for coming. We appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, I have something here that is different for me. It is, okay, it is an actually a round piece of glass. It is a round bowl. There is no flat bottom. It is round frosted blue glass in there. That, isn't that a beautiful color? If you look in there, you can see, see my finger right there, <laughs> where the cutouts are. So it, it makes a shadow in there. It is so fascinating. It has strawberries on it. And the, this like a bunting banner going around the top and the little feet. This part is metal. It has a braided metal handle attached on either side. And it is just fascinating. I just, I love looking at it. So the colors are just so nice together. Really cool. It is five and a quarter inches by three and a half inches tall. So it's a, it's a nice little piece, especially with this handle on it. Looks like half of a crystal ball is what it looks like. It is $14, number 21, for the frosted glass bowl in the metal basket. $14, number 21. It's like something you'd use for magic. It is, Debbie. It's very unusual and beautiful. Thank you. Ah, uh, and I see Dara Stone picking up number 21. Thank you so much. All right. We're on my last item. And just as a reminder, if you have bought from me, I'm shipping from Illinois. And please send your information to me at yahoo.com. I need your YouTube name, your name, your shipping address, and your um, PayPal email information. So if you could send that to me, I would appreciate it. So and that will go for all of us, correct? Yep. Yep. Everybody, do it for everybody. 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 Y'all, y'all do it for everybody. Come on. Yeah. There you go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. <laughs> hey. Okay. Now I have. <laughs> So happy. <laughs> I don't want people thinking I'm making fun of it. You're not making fun, you're just being part of the family. All right, so we got some salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> you we do it too some, well. <laughs> we got some art deco salt and pepper shakers. I do we smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop now. <laughs> These are, you know, they look like from the 1930s or 40s. They're I love wonderful. that shape, that Empire State Building shape, yes. Yeah, they have that wonderful Art Deco. Um, one has its stopper, the other one does not. I believe these were stovetop because they're fairly big. So there's that, and they're starting at about $13. And they have the wonderful flowers on them. I don't Ooh. know what the feedback I'll get on. Did somebody turn something on? I didn't change anything. There's feedback for some reason. Mm. So, I don't hear anything. I do. Sounds anyway. like a you problem, Daniel. Uh, well, I haven't touched anything either. So sorry about the feedback everybody on where it's coming from. So we have the salt and pepper shakers. It stopped, so whatever happened, it quit now. Yay. Uh, starting at $13 for the Art Deco 1930s, 40s, salt and pepper shakers, stovetop. It was coming out of the bottom of that pepper. That's what it was. No, it was the salty. It was the oh. salty. It was being salty. It's a gremlin. So salt and pepper shakers for starting at $13 for tacky toss up. If anybody's interested in that, put in $13 or we're going to go ahead and move on to the next person. 
Okay. Next I have up is this amber. Is it still doing it? I have this amber crimped ruffled crackle bow. See the crackling on it? And I do believe it's pilgrim glass. It has the called crackle glass and then it has this beautiful ruffle pinch they call it ruffle or pinched so and it's a uh, what is it it's i thought i wrote it down oh yes uh six inches six inches wide and four and a half inches tall now it's wide enough to grab your m&ms or whatever you want to put in it or it's just a decorative piece and these usually run anywhere from 40 to 50 dollars for this size but i'm going to do it i was going to do it for a throw down but i'm just going to do it for the flat 28 dollars for number two number two for 28 dollars for this amber pilgrim glass with all the crackle glass in it I love that design. I love that ruffle look. Oh, yeah. Butterscotch hard candies. Yeah, there you go. They get lost in here, the butterscotch colors. I love butterscotch. You're going to make me want butterscotch. I haven't had butterscotch in for a long time. <laughs> so, okay. If nobody's interested in this, we'll move on, Martha. Okay, Daniel, we're going to jump to you for just a moment. Did you see Dara Stone put in a bid for 13 for your yeah. your, um, your salt and pepper shakers? Yep. So if anybody else is interested in these, uh, put in a bid higher than 13. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and start a countdown. And um, I'll count down from 10. So if anybody else is interested in them, let me know. So 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's have a stop. Okay, there's the stop. So, what? I'm sorry. How how did you pronounce the name? It was uh, well. I believe it's Dara. Dara Stone. Okay, I've got you down for that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, so for my last item tonight, before we do a run through for you guys, um, before I show it to you, uh, like Daniel said, I'd like to remind you, if you have not purchased from any of us before tonight, please send us an email. If you, if you can't remember if you purchased from us, because I know we purchased from a lot of sellers, um, live sales, Instagram and everything. So if you're not sure, when in doubt, just go ahead and send the information. Each one of us have had our email below our picture. So thank you, just that little public service announcement. So my last item before the run through, as I said, is this beautiful, um, it is a amber edged and amber foot compote. You see, I've, I've decorated it, where's a good spot? I gotta find some white, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe over here is better. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to drive this thing around. You look like you're dancing. I'm going to take it for a spin. See how it dries. The um, stem, as you can see, is bubbled. Let me take my frosty grapes out. And blow the frost. Okay, it's still got frost in it, but I'll clean it out. <laughs> It's a beautiful little compote, clear with the amber rim. I enjoy putting things in it. And you can make a margarita in it if you want to. You just go right ahead. I have no problem with that whatsoever. This compote is, let's see, how big is it? Six and a half inches by five inches across. It's $10, number 26, for the amber rimmed compote if you are so inclined. Thank you. So we'll move to Daniel. 
And Daniel, do you have some items that you would like to um, show the folks who were not here earlier? I have a lot. Do we want to do them all or how do we want to do How them? fast can you do it? Well, the it? first hour, nobody was here. So, so I mean, we, I mean, not, well, we no, doubled. <laughs> there was great people here. The first No, time. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I know you did. I meant you. it doubled after an hour. So, mm -hmm. don't leave my face up here while she's saying that. Put her face up. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. So there was a lot of people that missed the first hour. Is that better? Okay. We'll let Tammy go first. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. First thing I had was, you want me to do all of them or half of them? What? What do you want me to do? Do whatever you want to do. Just, you know, do it as, as okay. you know, I have this. you can, it's but just, still let them see it. I have a square tablecloth here. It's, it's rectangular, like the size of a card table. Green, pinks, and blues. It was $12, number 14. $12, number 14. Got it. I'm, I'm real good about putting my foot in my mouth, y'all. So, And I have a cat on my cart. It's next. It's coming up next. <laughs> this was, the flower frog was $14, number 13. $14, number 13. 13. Some of these were um, throw down, so that's why the price isn't above. So it's $14 for number 13. I had the uh, <laughs> newspaper, a um, newspaper print press. It's a metal print press. Good for um, man cave decor. $16, number 10. He's 13 inches tall. Number 13 goes to Ruthie Bronkema. Number 13. Okay. Number 13. Thank you, Ruthie. Move, kitty. My cat's in the way now. And I have this uh, pink beaded bag for $13. Number seven. It's a nine by seven and a half. And with the length, it's 21 inches tall. And that's what my cat's after. The little kitty cat is after this. <laughs> he likes that fringe. Yes. He's climbing Aww. on my, <laughs> my daughter just got a cat the other day, y'all. So. He's so sweet. The magazine, McCall Magazine 1946, was number eight. It was for starting at $8. So $8 for number eight for the magazine, McCall Magazine 1946. Joanne, Precious Lavender Buttons has picked up number seven. Number seven. Thank you, Joanne. And then I have the Tanala snail. Hi, Joanne. I just realized you just got in here. Are you? I just said that. <laughs> so the Tanala snail is like six inches, six and a half inches long, and it is signed. Fun Tanala snail. And Sheila Putman would like number eight, please, Tammy. Number eight of the magazine. Okay. And then I have the blue acrylic blanket, that kitty cat. And Joanne would take number six. The Tanala. Thank you, Joanne. And then I have this. I'm saying it wrong. Corel, not Corel, uh, acrylic. Um, blanket still in a bag with the the um, what is it called the satin lace on the bottom it yeah is a, patin edging yeah this is uh, 72 by 90 Pam I see you but Joanne just inched you out hun and this was the blanket was $28 for number five for the Corel I keep saying Corel, acrylic blanket, throw blanket. <laughs> Still in this bag. Brand new old stock. Then we had the um, rhinestone um, brooch pendant. For there you go. That's good. $25. So it was starting at $25, and it's number three. 
for the brooch. Then we had the whiskey sour glasses, a set of four that were 18, number 11. There's four. I just have the other one over there. The Mad Men whiskey glasses. Maria says 72 by 90 is a queen size. Queen size. It says, um, it queen says full twin full on, on it. The, on so the bag. I think it depends on how much you want it to drape over the sides. Right. So it's a nice size blanket. Then um, I have a set of four. Four of these was eighteen dollars, number twelve for the set of four. Then we had the Eminem clear glass bow with the inlay of the yellow canary yellow was twelve dollars, number one. And it has a ripple on the top, footed with the pretty inlay yellow design. And the last piece is the Pilgrim glass, crackled glass, um, amber ruffled bow. That was. $28, number two, $28, number two. Thank you, guys. Is that it? That was it. Okay. Daniel, are you ready? You go ahead, Martha, since I don't have numbers on my stuff, if you want to okay. go ahead yours. All right. I'll do mine then. Um, Tammy, do you want to answer Sheila that now, or would you like her to would, email you? Would you take for number two, what was number two? What was number two? Let her look just a second. She doesn't have it on the crackle glass. Yes, email me, Sheila. Email me. Thank you, Sheila. Okay, let's see. Where do I start? Um, I'm a, I'm a tizzy. I have a hobbyist cat with a multi glaze of pale blue, white, and brown. He is a sweetie. He is eight dollars, number twenty-eight. Eight dollars, number twenty-eight for the kitty cat. And then I have oops, an exotic bird, some sort of like a cockatoo or cockatiel in green and yellow and he is eight dollars number 23 then I have a piece of Tilso from Japan it is the teapot he is missing his lid but his cold paint is in very good condition and he has his handle He's $12, number 27. Let's see, turn that I have a set of salt and pepper shakers that are Japan. They are for vacationing. It's luggage. They have cork stoppers. They are $10, number 29. I get it turned around for you the correct way. And then I have some Google Eye Owl salt and pepper shakers. Ceramic, nice, smooth, shiny glaze. If you see their eyes, they do move. And they are $8, number 16. And then let's see, oops, she should be over here, big pardon. I have a carved Italian elephant. Yes, I will, Junk to be loved, just give me one second. This is a hand carved Italian elephant, very detailed, some sort of stone, I think, is what it sounds like and uh, feels like to the touch because he's very cool. 
He's sixteen dollars number twenty. Sixteen dollars number twenty. And let's see. This one. Let's see. He's a little teapot. His lid is missing, but he has his handle. And his cold paint is in really good shape. And he is. Where's my Tilso pig? He is $12 number 27. $12 number 27. We have a Railpo little lady planter. She still has her lace skirt intact. Most of them are gone. She's $14 number 18. $14 number 18. And my offer tonight was this Italian Deruda pottery pitcher. Deruda is basically the Italian version of all the Tanala that we buy. This is their big pottery there. Most, a lot of them feature the roosters with only slight color variation. It's fully glazed inside and out. And it started at $16. It doesn't have a number, so if you're interested in it, just tell me you want $16 and you'll have the picture. See, I think that is, I think that's it. Except for the compote that I think y'all saw already. The glass compote, which was number 26 for $10. So, all righty then. Daniel, now you can show us what you want to show us, hon. All right. So all these things are um, packing up, so... These are what they're all starting out at. I had this little ballerina bunny and starting at $8 for her or him, whichever one, this cute little face. So starting at $8 for the bunny. Had these two cordial glasses with the green stems and the uh, grapes on them and Starting at eight dollars for those, and then I had this Woman's Day magazine from 1942, and starting at ten dollars for it, with the donuts on the back. So Woman's Day, 1942, ten dollars. And then Tammy, we have Ruthie Bronco for eight for number eight. Okay. And I got uh, Nancy Smith too. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Sorry, sorry about that, Daniel. Go right ahead. That's all right. So was Ruthie's for number eight or was it for the eight dollars for the oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Ruthie, which one? Eight dollars for the uh it's probably the uh, yeah. Three? Hers is probably for Daniel. Just type in Daniel or Tammy. Bunny. There you go. Okay. Bunny, Daniel. Ruthie. Let me get that written down real quick. Sorry, guys. No, no problem. Yeah, so if you see something of mine, put the number and what it is. That way we kind of know. Since because he doesn't have numbers. He, he's just going by the prize. Yeah, I don't have numbers because I'm a rebel. <laughs> he is okay. or just be his own energizer bunny yeah my feed is a little bit different um we like your beat daniel <laughs> well i had this 1941 book google eye and it had some wonderful graphics in it and it was starting at 12 dollars and the Google Eye goes all the way through. So 1941 for that, $12. And then I had the wonderful ashtray pipe 
ashtray holder thingamajigger. Ten dollars for it with the flowers and the wonderful color and then the cute little gold gilded pipe. And I had the cat and she he it starting at ten dollars. Cute little cat, ten dollars. And then the yellow rose of Texas for fifteen dollars. Down in nineteen ninety-five, I believe it was. We have Melinda Hess for the ten dollar cat. Thank you, Melinda. I'll get you written down. And I just have a couple more items, so sorry. Nice. Okay, Daniel. Everybody wants to see. They missed it. Y'all, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. <laughs> you working for it. Woo. Okay. And then I have this set of berry bowls. The cute 1950s look to it with the um, pink on it. And these were starting at $8. So we'll have these cute set of four berry bowl, custard bowl, cute little things for $8. Nancy Smith says, Daniel, you are a winner. Let's get you a trophy. Thanks. I appreciate that. And then we have the cute little poodle for $8. It does have a little. Um, marks on its nose. It has a little chip there and one down here that you can see. So $8 for it. For the little black poodle, all did up with its dew. With a little bow. And then we had the um, Mexico. Say that for me again, Martha. Talavera. Thank you. <laughs> and it was $12 for the hand painted Mexico vase with all the fruits on it. And that's it. All righty. See if I can get us back. There we are. Great job tonight, guys. Hold the kitty up. We can't see him or her. Oh, it's a new baby. And he just woke up and he's climbing all over us. <laughs> climbing all over my stuff and me. What's his name? Fitzy. Fitzgerald. Fitzy. Ah. Because her dog is named Fenty, so she wanted Fitzy. <laughs> and what are you starting that up at? <laughs> <laughs> she would never know, would she? <laughs> oh, well, I had such a good time tonight. I'd like to remind everybody who did purchase tonight to make sure you send your information to each of the respective sellers that you purchased from, if you have not done so already. And if you don't remember, if you have not, better safe to go ahead and send it. So. And if you haven't, if you're not subscribed to each of us, please do. Please subscribe to us. Be our friend. <laughs> yes, we're very needy. Please be <laughs> our friend. <laughs> we're not above begging. <laughs> Wait for us, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, give us you the eyes. You can do it. Give us your subscribers, y'all. <laughs> you need to give us all your subscriptions. <laughs> subscriptions. I like that one. And I am having a sale tomorrow night with uh, Christy Taylor on my channel with a special guest at 10 o'clock Central. So y'all come join us. Is this where we're Daniel? plugging ourselves? Yes, yes plug it. Please. Oh, so Friday tomorrow at my normal time at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, bright and early, we'll be chit-chatting. I'll be opening up a box from across the pond. And it's part of, um, well, I'll just tell you here, but you need to come over and see me in the morning. Um, Miss Dolores bought me a moo or a caftan. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, I shall be putting it on and we shall be having a party. 
Oh, cool. Let me get water before you get to see that. Okay. I have it. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody, make sure you subscribe to Daniel and reach out to everybody you know and get them to subscribe to Daniel and Tammy and me. But we really want to see Daniel in that movement. But and Daniel I, says if you don't right. subscribe to the rest of us, you know, he's not going to wear it. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we really want to see that. So let's get Daniel up to a thousand. And then Sunday, I will be having my tacky like Sunday morning. I'll be having a thing. Yay! That'll be fun. We'll I'm right behind Daniel. He just passed me up. I'm I'm just behind him. So we're gonna go, you know, horse racing down the line to a thousand. And well, he's I'm ahead. Heels, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do a live haul. I got a um, two uh, friend mails from um, from. Missy with um, Junk to be Love and Melinda Hess. I need to do a video on that still. And because I, I was waiting on my another package that I won, I won a uh, a, a drawing from um, Vintage and Co. Vintage and, and oh really? Tina from Vintage a Vision and Vintage a, a Vision and Vintage Co. There yes. you go. Yeah, is that she's a tongue twister there. So I won that and I got to still open that. So I'm going to do all three of them together. So make a full video. I need cool. to do that this weekend. Well, let's see. I will be having my next sale next Thursday night. Like just like tonight, except it will be at nine central instead of eight. And I will be having a guest, I believe next week. I believe next week that Sabrina Simon from Simon says, let's make a deal will be joining me for a sale so I hope everybody will come over and talk to us we really appreciate everybody that came and and you know oh 399 oh somebody go make me 400 I'm Woo! so excited I'm 399 that's so cool let me know if anybody goes over and makes me 400 <laughs> <laughs> oh I've got to refresh that was exciting <laughs> Yay! I'm so easily entertained and amused. <laughs> I was a cheap date, apparently. <laughs> okay. So anyway, as I was saying, we appreciate you coming and talking to us because having you guys in the chat, speaking with us and speaking with each other is, is what makes it really fun. So we appreciate it. And I, I know Daniel is really tired. He got up early for work today. And he's he's tacky tired. <laughs> he's got toothpicks holding his eyes open. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to tell Tammy a little story about what happened. But Daniel, if you feel like you need to leave, we understand. And, and but we're going to be with Daniel. The story that's great. But we're always going to be with Daniel every third Thursday. Yes, every Thursday. third Thursday we will be having this triple T, two Texans, and a little tacky sale. The third Thursday of every month. Next month, Daniel will be our host on his channel. So right. mark your calendars so you you don't forget. Maybe Daniel, maybe you should go ahead and schedule that so it um, sets up for people to get a reminder or something. Um, if I remember, <laughs> <laughs> Daniel needs to set up a reminder for himself. <laughs> if you haven't watched my channel, Mark, you know I'm at the last minute type of person. <laughs> Daniel, I, I would not ever comment on that. You don't have to. I'll do it for myself. <laughs> okay, so now you've made me. I'm gonna have to stay and listen. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay tell me there's a story, and then say, "Yeah, you can go." It's gonna be good. Uh, well, I hope so. I may be the only one who appreciates the story. <laughs> so, about, well, when my husband was about 15 years old, he was working with his father. My husband is 61, so you see how long ago that was. He was working painting a, a truck. They did auto paint and body work. And my father-in-law had just gotten a new camera. It was like a land camera, you know, the Polaroid with the picture came out. So he took a picture of my husband standing with a truck that they had just painted. And he took it and he put it in his toolbox on top of his toolbox. Well, time goes by and they forget about the picture. And my father-in-law gets a new toolbox and he gives that toolbox to my husband. But the picture's not there. The picture is gone. So my husband doesn't think about it. Can't even remember the picture. My husband uses the toolbox 
gosh, that was probably about 1975. He uses the toolbox till about 1985, 1987. And then he gives it to a friend of his. And he uses the toolbox until just recently. He gives the toolbox to another man. Now, mind you, my father-in-law passed away quite a few years ago this very month. Just a few days ago was the anniversary of his passing. Yesterday, my husband gets a phone call from the man that he gave the toolbox to. And he said the man that he gave the toolbox to called him and told him he had found a picture under a drawer in the toolbox that it was covered in mud. So he cleaned it off and he thought, well, this picture might mean something to my friend. So he sent him a, a cell phone picture of it. And the man said, oh no, that, I know who that is. So he called my husband and sent him this picture that has been lost in this toolbox since 1975 of my husband. Doesn't look, doesn't hardly look, well, I remember him looking like that. So it doesn't look like him now, makes me wanna cry. But the hands were exactly the same. His hands have not changed one bit in all these years. And that long lost picture that was found right about the time of my anniversary of, my, of his dad's passing in his dad's old toolbox that came back to my husband. It was just, it was just very, it was emotional. emotional. Mm -hmm. And it just brought back so many memories. And we just couldn't believe it that, 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 that man would even do that, much less that the picture had survived covered in dirt under this toolbox, you know, <laughs> under a drawer. So he pulled the drawer out and it was stuck underneath a drawer and he found it. And I told my husband, I said, your daddy sent it. Your daddy sent it. Where's the picture? Do you have it right there? Well, no, I should have brought it in here. I didn't think about even telling you about it. I'll, I'll send you the picture, Tammy, since you know what Gary looks like. I'll send you the picture. Well, I already but, know yeah. he looks different because she showed me a wedding picture of them. I'm like, Woo, who are these two people? Neither one of them look the same. He had we long were, hair. Her husband had long hair. Yeah, his hair was only down to his shoulders. Deep, deep, dark red, you know, real thick. He was, it was the 70s, y'all. What can I tell you? <laughs> so that's my story. That is a cool story. I thought so. I thought so. My kids all love it. I, Gary still can't get over it. He's got the picture propped up on the table so we can look at it when he's sitting there eating. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was one of the best things that's happened to us in a long time. Yes, surreal, Pam Avery. A miracle, a blessing. I agree. I agree. Dean, don't go where? What did you say? What did Dean say? Oh, okay. Something else. <laughs> not, not going to get into that. That's something else. <laughs> but anyway, that's my story, and I appreciate, appreciate you staying to listen to it. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you, you almost made Chris, Christina cry. Almost made me cry, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, it, but that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very emotional when we get old. <laughs> so you young lot. people, you got this to look forward to. There's <laughs> a lot of waterworks coming from a lot of places when you get older. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, some of those you can see a doctor for. <laughs> okay. Well, then we will say goodnight to everyone. And once again, we will thank you for coming. We appreciate your friendship, your subscriptions, and your time. Want to see the pic to a wonderful... Well, you can post it on Instagram. That's what I'll do. I'll put it on Instagram. You guys follow us on Instagram, follow me, and you will see the picture. And it will be a great follow-up. Also, this last thing, if you are viewing this sale afterwards and you see something that didn't sell, please contact the seller, and um, I'm sure they will be able to help you out with that. 400! Oh, Yay! Yay! Thank you all. I'm so happy. Do you want to borrow my caftan and wear it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a no. 
enough. I have to get to a thousand and you can mail it to me. <laughs> yeah. I, Yay. I, Dolores sent that for Mingo Land. <laughs> I'll mail it back. It can be the, 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 what is the traveling, pants. traveling pants. Yeah, the traveling pants and whatever uh, moo moo thing. Yeah, yeah okay. the traveling captain. <laughs> Give us all good luck. Captain. Yeah, sure we'll, just, luck. we'll just all share it at a thousand and then send it back to you with all our love, Dan. The traveling pants. Yeah. That was... <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate you being here, Daniel, Tammy. This was so much fun. So we're going to okay. say good night, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for buying. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.